Hello friends and welcome to my channel Organetic. In today's video I will share with you new home hacks which will make your life easier and your home more organized. And now without further ado, let's get started! You won't surprise anyone with their tight food storage containers these days. They can be found in many kitchens around the world because they are so handy. However, they do have a downside. Of course, you can put labels on them to know exactly what's stored inside, but you lose all the information about the cooking directions, the ingredients and the expiration date. The solution here is simple. All we need is these self-adhesive business card holders. Stick the card holder to the back of the container and voila! Now we can store the information about the product. Cut it from the original packaging, put it in the pocket and now we have all the necessary information at our fingertips. When I change the content of the container, I also make sure to replace the content of the card holder. And now I will show you an idea for closet storage. Did you know that you can actually use the space above the bar? All you need to do is to install two tension rods there. Now you can use them as shelves for storing clothes or even small containers. Let me show you another cool trick. Are you familiar with hanging storage baskets like this? They are mounted on a shelf for the most optimal use of space. They can also be mounted above the bar. You can see for yourself how well it works. This part of a closet is usually empty, but this way you can turn it into an additional storage space that will always come in handy. Containers help us organize space more conveniently, however, not everyone is willing to spend money on them. When organizing your space, keep in mind that you don't have to cover the entire surface with containers. For example, in this drawer you can arrange them this way. But because these models taper towards the bottom, a small amount of space is wasted. Consider the second option. Here I arrange the containers, leaving space between them that will also be used for storage. This way I am able to store much more stuff with fewer containers. My viewers often ask me how to store a quilt at night. If it's thin enough, it can be put away in a decorative basket. Keep it in there at night will keep your room tidy. If your bed is equipped with storage drawers, then it's a perfect place to put away your quilt and pillow set at night. But because this video is about home hacks, I will show you how to store a quilt without any additional gear. To do this, I roll the quilt around the pillows and put it at the base of the bed. This roll is very compact and can be easily unrolled on the bed in the morning. I am sure you might question why would I put the quilt on a dirty floor. My answer is simple. You don't have to put it on a dirty floor because there are many ways to keep your floor always clean. As for me, I like to use my robot vacuum cleaner on a regular basis. Glass is a very environmentally friendly and durable material, which is why many of us like to use it to organize our homes. And it is not surprising. Just look at how beautiful glass looks for storing things. I have some good news for you. It's not necessary to buy expensive glass jars in stores. You may use food jars instead. But what about those labels, which are often so hard to remove? The solution is simple. Hit the label gently with a hairdryer. And when the glue melts, the label will be removed easily and without a trace. A hair dryer is a necessity in the household. Today I'd like to show you this amazing hair dryer swift from Leifen. You can get them in different colors, but as you can tell I've got here a white one. Let's unpack the box first. It contains a hair dryer, a standard nozzle and some manuals in different languages. My first impression is extremely positive. The hair dryer weighs only 407 grams, so it is light and easy to hold. The nozzle can be attached so easily. I think there is a magnet inside because it attaches itself from any position. Wow, I like it! Let's see how it works.
Thanks to noise reduction technologies, the Lafe and Swift achieves a quieter and more natural sound with only 59 decibels at full speed. It also has a hot and cold air circulation function. If you long press the wind temperature button for 2 seconds, the auto cycling mode will be switched on. In this mode, hot and cold air alternate every 2 seconds so that your hair won't get overheated. How cool is that? When you use this function, the LED ring color changes alternately. The three-color LED ring temperature mode shows you the exact temperature of the air blown out. So now that we know all the technical details about this Leif and Swift, let's test it in action. It took me less than three minutes to get my hair completely dry, and it will save me so much time every morning after washing my hair. This Leif and hair dryer will be a great gift for yourself, as well as for family and friends on any holiday. I will leave the link to it below in the description under the video. Are you familiar with the raclette maker? You can cook the Swiss dish raclette inside its small frying pans. I have one of these electrical appliances at home. One day I didn't notice that one of the frying pans was stuck under the heating element, which caused its plastic handle to melt. At first I wanted to order a replacement, but after seeing the price I immediately changed my mind. Given the fact that a whole new raclette maker isn't much more expensive. That's why I decided to repair the handle myself, and to do that I'm going to need self-hardening clay. You can use it to sculpt an object of the desired shape and leave it to harden for one or two days. This clay is good for handcrafting with your children or for small home improvements. The clay is very soft and it is easy to mold any shape. In my case I'm trying to recreate the shape of the handle. To be honest, at first it turned out to be too large. I thought that it would fit the frying pan better, but it ended up being too heavy for it. That's why in my attempt number 2 I made the handle thinner. I left it to harden and… this is how it turned out. The handle is quite sturdy and the frying pan can be used for its intended purpose once again. A cutting board is a common item in every kitchen, and when they are laying all over the countertops it looks messy. The solution here is simple. All you need is a bookend. Stack the cutting boards and secure them with a bookend. Now they look nice and tight and easy to use. You can store them like this anywhere you want, for example on a cooking surface in a kitchen cabinet or even on a shelf. Question. What happens if you put a bunch of extension cords in an organizer? You guessed it, all the cords get tangled. Now I'm going to show you the easy and tangle-free way to store extension cords. Carefully wrap the cord without bending it too much where it connects with the sockets. Then plug it into one of its sockets. These neat reels are much easier and more convenient to store. How do you like this idea? If a jar is missing its lid, you can make it yourself out of paper and a rope. Obviously, a lid like that is more of a decor than functionality, but if you are storing something that doesn't spoil, then it can look really stylish. Would you like to learn a cool hack to store a pair of jeans on a clothes bar? You can do it with the help of the S-shaped hooks. The important thing is to make sure that they can fit the width of the bar. I attach the hooks to the bar and hang jeans on them. That's it! If you keep a stroller in your house, you are gonna like this idea. You will need four shower caps for this. In my example, I am using one that I got from a hotel, but you can also buy them at a store. And here's the idea. In order to avoid getting dirt on your floor from the stroller wheels, put shower caps on them. All the dirt will be kept in the caps and you won't have to clean the wheels to roll the stroller inside. As you can tell, there is a mess on the shelf, and it's hard to find or reach anything here. Let's fix it. We start with arranging the large cans against the back wall. Then we arrange the medium-sized cans. And finally the smallest ones. 
check out the result. Now you can see everything clearly and easily find what you need. Let me show you an interesting idea that I found at the store. Insert a piece of paper with the name of the guest into a frame and now you can specify where everyone should sit. This trick can be used at a wedding, a kid's birthday or even at a corporate party. For example, to mix the employees from different departments to strengthen team spirit. I will implement this next idea on my vanity table. There is often some small trash lying around here and I don't want to run to the trash bin every time I need to get rid of it. Since the trash is small, I don't want to keep a large trash bin in here. I've been looking for a mini waste basket to put here, but could never find the one that I liked. One day, while walking around the store, I found this cute jar with a lid on sale. And I thought that it might be a good idea to use it for this purpose. You can put a small sandwich back inside the jar, then place it on the vanity table. I really like when my home decor is functional. Please let me know in the comments what functional decor you have in your house. I am very excited to read your answers. Since the topic of this video is creative home hacks, I will show you this trick with clothes organizers. You can make little trains for a child's room out of boxes similar to this. For wheels you can screw quark coasters to the boxes. And the question of the day is this. What idea from today's video did you like the most? If you like this video, please show it to me by hitting the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you next week. Bye-bye!